PR team Inferno, a highly motivated and innovative tech team hailing from Delhi Technological University, India. Our team specializes in developing cutting-edge mass rover prototypes and today we are proud to present to you all our latest creation, Numbi 2.0, which is the fifth iteration of our remarkable rovers. Our team was established on August 20, 2013 as a go-karting team and after achieving tremendous success in that area, we realized our passion for space technology and transformed into a mass over team in 2018. Since then, we have been actively participating in various rover challenges held across the globe including IRDC 2020, IRC 2020 on-site, ERC 2021 and 2022 remote and IRDC 2022. We achieved the first position award in e-summit held in DTU and also exhibited our rover in IIT Roorkee's Tech Fest Cognizance. We also participated in the on-site finals of last year's URC held in Hanksville, Utah. Drawing on a vast experience and insights from these competitions, we have made tremendous improvements to our rover resulting in exemplary results in IRC 2023. We are proud to have been awarded the Best Team Management Award, a testament to our team's dedication, hard work and technical expertise. As we reflect on the success of our team, it is impossible not to acknowledge the invaluable contribution of our workplace. Our team has been provided with a well-equipped and spacious mechanical lab within the college campus. This lab serves as a nucleus for all the various testing and manufacturing activities, as well as provide us ample space to inculcate all our various sub-departments. At the heart of it all is our faculty advisor, Professor Pradeep Kumar Jain. He is an inspiration to our team and always goes the extra mile to help us achieve our goals. The mobility system of Lumbi comprises of a custom dual axis double rocker suspension made up of square cross section aluminium tubes. The four bar Lincoln mechanism is used to traverse over rough terrain and climb slope up to 45 degrees. The custom in-house manufacturing wheels are made up of rubber foam composites because of their capability to regain originality even after constant deformation. These are paired with custom designed aluminium rims along with 3D printed replica to maintain circular shape. We employed hexagonal frame design in rims to improve load absorbing capability and minimize overall weight. We have created special in-wheel aluminium hubs to protect the motors. We have used bar differential pivoted on top of chassis, providing a easy access for maintenance. Carbon fiber rods are essential components of differential due to their exceptional strength to weight ratio. Differential helps in keeping the rover stable, maintaining all the wheels in touch with ground for better traversal. A decahedron closed chassis fabricated using aluminum 6063 sheets is designed to house all essential components including battery, electronics, robotic arm and antenna. The sheets were cut using laser cutting technology and then bent accordingly using air bending. The bent sheets were then riveted together. The electrical system has been meticulously designed, keeping in mind the competition tasks and the overall efficiency of the system. The rover is powered by a high capacity 6S LiPo battery of 16,000 mAh and two 3S LiPo batteries of 5,200 mAh capacity each. To ensure efficient power distribution, the power system has been segmented into three categories drive, robotic arm, and control system. The primary processor on board is the NVIDIA Nano Jetson, which powers the rover's operations. Additionally, three Arduino Mega boards are utilized to regulate the motors and science assembly sensors. The rover's propulsion system is equipped with four high-torque Rhino motors, while the robotic arm is driven by four Yellow Jacket planetary gear motors and two linear actuators. To control the motors, Cytron MDD-10A motor drivers are employed. We are planning to integrate the electronic system onto a custom-designed PCB for improved modularity and easy assembly. The battery is connected via kill switch which stops all rover operations in case of any system failure. A 5 degree of freedom robotic manipulator has been designed for easy and flexible maneuver of the arm in any direction. The arm weighs 10 kg and has a reach of 1.2 meters. The manipulator is equipped with carbon fiber links that provide high strength to weight ratio. Discussing about EGUF, the yaw at the base is controlled by a warm wheel assembly, two linear actuators providing a total of 150 degrees range of motion, a pair of warm gears inside a gearbox controls the pitch of the arm and minimizes backlash as well as increases precision, a spur gear assembly to control the roll. The robotic arm's high torque bearing joints allows it to lift wheels. The end effector uses a combination of lead screw and 4 bar linkage mechanism that allows high precision movements. We use 
a convertible and defector that is we can use either a gripper or a scoop as permission requirements the scoop and gripper are made up of pla we have successfully tested our arm by performing a set of maintenance tasks that we may encounter in the competition considering the requirements and to achieve high speed latency free communication with the rover we have used 2.4 gigahertz omnidirectional ubiquity antenna on the rover accompanied by directional antenna being used at the base station ensuring a range up to 1 km in absence of line of sight the rover is equipped with four cameras placed at optimum positions used to perform various tasks we are using the blue zed package to continuously scan the blue blue device to meet the mission requirements ROS is used to interface the software system with the hardware system of the rover. Manipulation of the custom rover decam, manual operation of the rover and controlling the science assembly is achieved using two joysticks accompanied with custom self-written codes. A navigation stack based on the robotic operating system has been used for the autonomous traversal of the Mars rover. The move-based ROS node acts as a primary component of the navigation stack to plan and execute the rover's motion. To achieve the reliable localization of the rover, the navigation stack employs a GPS system integrated with a compass and IMU sensor. The GPS provides the robot's position coordinates while the compass and IMU provides its orientation and angular velocity data. The combination of these sensors provide odometry data with accuracy up to 10 cm. The robot is equipped with several sensors that provide critical information about its surroundings. An RP lidar generates a 360 degree scan of the terrain while an Xbox Kinect is being utilized to create a time map which provides real time localization, mapping and object detection. Fast and robust computer vision algorithms are being employed for the localization and detection of Aruko tags. Extensive simulations are being conducted in Gazebo to minimize the software errors before testing on the rover in the real world. Environmental testing is crucial for understanding the natural environment and various chemical tests are done in order to identify the particular compounds present in the sample. Soil extraction is a critical step in obtaining soil samples for testing and it's typically carried out in a way that avoids contamination of the sample. Environmental sensors are also used to monitor the soil's conditions including MQ2 for detecting carbon dioxide, MQ131 for ozone, and additional sensors for measuring parameters like temperature, pressure, humidity, altitude and pH levels of the soil. We are performing various chemical tests in order to detect the presence of extinct or extinct life on Mars. Here we are performing one of those tests which is the HCL test for carbonates. Thank you for watching out our video showcasing our rover's capability. As we are preparing for the competition ERC to be held in month of July in Turkey, we are excited to put forward our hard work and dedication to the test. Our team has been working tirelessly to develop a rover that can tackle the challenges presented by the competition, and we are confident in its ability to perform at its best. We are grateful for the opportunity to participate in this international event and to showcase our innovation and expertise. We look forward to meeting our fellow competitors and sharing our passion for robotics. See you soon at ARC 22.